Back. Just nine days ago, tornadoes devastated the southeast, causing major damage and killing 23 people. First responders went right to work, searching for people who were trapped in their homes and those who died. Drones gave first responders a bird's eye view of the devastation, allowing them to reach those who needed help quickly. In central Georgia, drones are also assisting emergency workers and law enforcement. In tonight's 13 Investigates, Inslee Nichols shows us just how drones are giving investigators a whole new perspective. In the small town of Byramville, something like a derailment involving 30 train cars carrying propane tanks requires all hands on deck. You never know what you have. You can you can see what's around you, but you never know until you you know you get a bird's eye view. You can see more. Instead of sending his guys into the rubble, Dooley County Fire Chief Brett Walls took out his personal drone to assess the wreckage. CSX was asking you know what type of cars there were, and we didn't want to send anybody out there and not knowing what we had. When you see a pressurized container car, you get you kind of kind of scary. With the help of this technology, Walls protected his team from a potentially dangerous situation, but still got the job done. Law enforcement from across the state comes to the Georgia Public Safety Training Center to learn how to operate drones. The center's spokesman, John Hutchinson, says the opportunities are endless, especially for traffic accident investigations and reconstruction. They don't have to get out and physically get out in the traffic and block the road. Uh, and, and do that type of work now where they can do it, uh, as you saw, while the vehicles are still moving along the roadway. It's just photographs that we took. Drone footage also has the ability to create 360-degree photos from accident scenes, <laughs> giving officers a clear look at the damage from a laptop. Their gadget is also equipped with heat sensor technology to help police find a missing person or suspect on the run wooded area or something like that and you can send up a drone and cover more area than you can searching by feet, uh, you know, by officers boots on the ground. Drones are becoming an essential tool for law enforcement, but should we be concerned that these eyes in the sky have the potential to invade our privacy? Hutchinson says officers still need probable cause and a search warrant to use drones for investigations on private property. Law enforcement's not just flying drones around just to see what they can see. Uh, just to build a case on someone. We still have to put in the man hours, the investigative tools to build that case. So according to Hutchinson, drones can't be used to pry into people's lives. Instead, they act as an aid to law enforcement. I think safety is the biggest issue and then manpower. You know, it, it, that one drone can take the place of probably 20 searchers. The more often drones are used, the more investigators discover new ways to use the soaring technology. There's just many applications and we're, we're finding the different ones to be beneficial. So whether it's eyeing an accident or finding a missing person, drones are saving time, money, and lives. For 13 Investigates, I'm Enzi Nichols. Now, according to the training center's records, 96 different agencies have come for drone training. The majority are from Georgia. Only a few have been coming from out of state.